This is the all-new Toyota RAV4. It's the kind of car that appeals to small families and buyers of the Honda CR-V, Mazda CX-5 and Nissan X-Trail. An interesting fact is that while the RAV part of its name stood for Recreational Activity Vehicle for the past 25 years, Toyota thought it was time for a change. And so, it's now an acronym for Robust Accurate Vehicle. Whatever that means. Let us know in the comments below if you think this new acronym makes it sound more like a device out of the new Men in Black movie rather than the family SUV it really is. The all new RAV4 is a big improvement over the car it replaces. And this being the Adventure model, which is the full option model in the UAE, gets a few interesting upgrades. For starters, the Adventure trim gets a unique black grille, as opposed to a chrome grille on the standard car. Secondly, it gets chunkier bumper guards on the front and rear bumpers. Thirdly, it gets a nice set of 19-inch alloy wheels, which are the biggest wheels available in the RAV4 lineup. And lastly, it gets these prominent fender flares which give it an outdoorsy look and match its adventurous name. Continuing its uniqueness on the inside, the RAV4 Adventure is filled with plenty of cheerful colour. There's two-tone leather on the seats, two-tone leather on the dashboard and bright orange accents highlighting certain elements around the cabin, giving it a very bright and youthful feel. The design is also very simple and uncluttered with large rubberized rotary controls and buttons placed exactly where you need them to be. However, while the colour scheme and designs are great, the quality of materials could be better. Although Toyota's tried using rubber on certain elements and putting leather on the dashboard, there's still a lot of exposed hard plastic. The door panels feel hollow and the sun visors create a horrific plastic slapping against plastic sound whenever they are closed. Having lowered the hip point, it is a lot easier to get into and out of the back seats. And since you sit lower, there's plenty more headroom than the model it replaces. Legroom matches what its rivals have to offer. And to ensure those in the back are comfortable, there's rear AC vents, USB charging ports and cup holders too. Being a family SUV, boot space is an important number. And at 580 litres behind the second row, the Toyota RAV4 offers more than the Honda CR-V, the Mazda CX-5 and the Nissan X-Trail. But that's not all, because the boot of the Toyota RAV4 is very special. You see, it's got underfloor storage. It's got a 12-volt outlet if you wish to connect an auxiliary cool box to keep your drinks cool on a long road trip. And it's also got a reversible floor with carpet on one side and easy-to-clean plastic on the other. With the Adventure trim being the full option model in the UAE, it gets a long list of comfort and entertainment features. It gets basics such as a power adjustable driver's seat, push button start, dual zone climate control system, wireless charging tray and panoramic roof. But there are some more interesting additions. For example, it's got automatic windows all around, a feature that not all its rivals possess. It's got sensors in the front and back, another feature that not all its rivals possess. It's got a clearer rear view camera than in the Land Cruiser we recently tested. And it's also got the simplest Bluetooth connectivity I've ever come across, with clear instructions to make sure you're paired and connected in under 20 seconds. But not all is great. The 7-inch infotainment screen that sits on top of the dashboard is small by today's standards and is also a little slow to respond. Unlike its new arrivals, the RAV4 doesn't get Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Instead, it gets Miracast. For those of you who know what Miracast is, you're probably saying, wow. And for those who don't, let me explain. Miracast basically allows you to cast or project any screen from your phone onto the 7-inch infotainment screen in the car wirelessly. Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, Tinder, Google Maps, literally anything can be projected from your phone screen onto this infotainment screen wirelessly. Intelligent, right? Very intelligent, in fact. 
Since this Adventure Edition doesn't come with built-in navigation, you can just mirror Google Maps until you start moving. You see, mirror cast only works when the car is at a standstill, meaning if you did decide to mirror Google Maps and drive along, you'd have to keep stopping to make sure you're on the right road and that you haven't bypassed your exit. Suddenly, it doesn't sound very intelligent. To make up for its shortcomings on the feature front, the all-new RAV4 packs a 2.5-litre naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine under the hood. It produces 203 horsepower and 243 newton meters of torque. What that means is that it's got more power than all its other rivals, but torque isn't as much as the Honda CRV and the Mazda CX-5. Interestingly enough, the RAV4 pushes its power through an 8-speed automatic transmission and comes with a full-time 4-wheel drive system, much like its elder siblings, the Prado and Land Cruiser. To keep up with more premium and expensive SUVs in the market, the all-new RAV4 also comes with three drive modes and three multi-terrain modes. Since the RAV4 hasn't got any locking differentials to help it off-road, a bunch of sensors work together with the engine and transmission to decide how much power goes to each wheel and distributes it accordingly. Essentially, whether you're driving in mud and sand, rock and dirt or snow mode, essentially the car calculates which wheels have the most traction and sends power there accordingly. While the RAV4 is arguably the most capable amongst its rivals off-road, it is on tarmac that it continues to shine. With a 55-litre fuel tank, the RAV4 averages 10.3 litres for every 100 kilometres, which means it's very, very fuel efficient. In fact, the tiny sips it takes out of the fuel tank are by far its best feature. The Toyota RAV4 has come a long way in the past 25 years and continues to be an important name in the segment that it competes in. This all-new model wears a starting price of 99,000 dirhams, with this full-option adventure trim coming in at 129,900 dirhams in the UAE. Let us know in the comments below which one of these four crossovers you'd like to drive home. The all-new RAV4, the Honda CR-V, the Mazda CX-5, or the Nissan X-Trail. Thanks for watching.